Hey guys and welcome. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to easily trace any character you want, okay? So that includes characters that are outlined already in 2D form and also in 3D form. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna import our character. I'm gonna import a few characters in. I'm gonna go to my photo library. I'm going to import Buttercup and I'm gonna import, let's see. I'm going to import Kirby. Okay, so these two characters. So the reason why I am showing you two characters because there are many ways to outline and trace your characters. One, you could do it by hand by actually lowering the opacity, creating a new layer, and actually tracing the character by using one of the pencils tools uh, or the pen tool. You could zoom in, you could do that. That's one way. Um, if you're an artist, that, that way may work for you. Um, if you're not an artist, that's okay. There are many ways to get the job done. So let's go ahead and start with Kirby. So Kirby, you can actually use shapes to trace him. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create um, circles and I'm gonna erase parts of it and piece it together to, to, to uh, make up his body. So I'm gonna go to the shape tool and then I'm gonna go to the circle. I'm gonna make sure I zoom in and then I'm gonna create my circle. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be over him, because now I'm gonna use the transform tool, which is up here, and then I'm gonna use this tool right here, the first one all the way to the left, okay? And then I'm gonna place my circle over Kirby. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these little white dots right here to sculpt it into his body so that way it's even. And when I have it where I want it, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. So that's one way to do it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go throughout his whole entire body and create these circles and sculpt them. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna create a layer for each circle. And when I'm done, I'm gonna combine them and merge them together. So that way I won't have tons and tons of layers. So I'm gonna hit the plus button. And then I'm gonna create another square. And this is very important because you don't want to have all your circles on one layer. So just in case if you need to edit it, you could edit it separately, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing, transform, all right? Now what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna use this circle in the middle. I'm gonna like mash it down. It's gonna give me that little curvy form that I'm looking for. I'm gonna place it right there, okay? So it's gonna look a little wacky at first, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna also do because it's on a separate layer, I'm gonna erase the parts I don't need. So I'm gonna go to my eraser tool really quick. I'm gonna make sure it's not too big so I don't accidentally erase parts of it that, um, that I wanna keep. So I'm gonna erase this part. So as you can see, that's how that works. See? All right, awesome. So I'm gonna move on and then I'm gonna hit another layer. I'm gonna start with the eyes. Start with the face, okay? I'm gonna create an oval shape. Um, Make sure you're on your pencil tool before you actually do your shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another oval. Again, go back to the transform tool. And I'm gonna shape up his eye where it matches much more evenly, okay? And then I'm gonna just simply duplicate that and then drag it over using my transform tool. Again, how I um, did that was I just tap the center of my layer and go to the duplicate. And so that's how you duplicate that. All right, and then I'm gonna do the, the blush and the mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video. And what I'm gonna do throughout the video, I'm going to um, create different shapes and, um, and um, delete parts of his body so that way, way you could, it makes sense. Like for instance, his foot, his foot right here. That's the easy one. Once again, a circle, right? So I'm gonna use my transform tool, go back to the same tool as before. See, this is the reason why you wanna make sure you're on the right layer because then you get this. See that? That's why it needs to be separate. All right, so I'm gonna hit my back tool. That was my mistake. I'm gonna put it in his own layer and then I'm gonna create the circle again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and form it. All 
All right, so from there, I'm going to delete parts of his body that I don't need, which is the part of his circle that's intersecting his foot. I'm just going to erase it just like that. Okay, so now that we're done, if I turn off the visibility of my preference, you can see here's Kirby. All right, now from here, all I'm gonna do is just color. So that's how you trace your character. Hey guys, um, I also wanna show you there's a couple of ways to make sure you get your outlines done. You can also select. Hey guys, I just wanna show you that there's a couple of ways to do outlines. Um, besides actually tracing your character with circles, which does take time, an even quicker way, if your character is outlined very, very well, like, like, um, Buttercup here, <clears throat> you can actually hit the magic wand tool and select her outlines and then color over it. That can make things a lot easier. Now, the only thing about this tool is that when you do this, the lines are going to be very, very rungy, like they're going to be very rigged and, and, and rough looking, all right? Listen, personally, I don't like this technique, but I think for beginners, this will work just fine. So what you do, you go to your magic wand tool, which is like right here, or your selection tool. And there's a magic wand tool, like the one that's highlighted in the blue, it's the third one, all the way to your left hand side. And then... What you do is you select um, Buttercup here, and then you create your own separate layer, right? And then you're gonna take black, and you wanna use a really big brush. So I would say just up the size all the way, and then you're gonna start coloring. Now, the best way to see what you're doing is this. I'm gonna do like this. Okay? Voila. So majority of your work is already done. And then when I tap this button, the selection tool again, it turns off the selection. So already you have an outline of Buttercup. But once again, the lines will be very, very rigged and rough. Personally, I don't prefer that because as a drawer and as an artist, I prefer my lines to be nice and clean like Kirby, like what I did previously. Okay. Now all the only thing I gotta do is lower the opacity for a buttercup and fill in the blanks. And since I already got started with the um with this tool, with the paintbrush tool, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the ink tool. I'm gonna make sure the brush size is really small. Then I'm gonna go in there. And I'm gonna finish the job. And make sure they're connected. I can do it by hand. Doing it by hand, there's nothing wrong with that. And then also, you want to go in there and get the other parts of her eyes. And make sure you zoom in when you do it, so that way your strokes can be a lot more precise. Now the good thing about this technique is that you can actually use the bucket tool. The only thing I don't like about this particular um, tool is that it doesn't have a sharp tip edge once you do a little swipe versus if you were to use a tool like this. I think that'll get the job done better. But either way, whatever works for you. So now that I have that done, I can literally go here and I can start adding in the colors I want by using the paint bucket tool. See, now that works. So, anyways, that's how that's done. Thanks for watching.